Hello ornament girls and guys. In this video, we're making the adorable E bunny. Our designer Sherry came up with this and what's really genius about it is that the bunny itself is actually formed from the negative space. We actually create the shape around him by building up the layers and he's just the cutest. But not only that, he's really easy and quick. Now we created something for you that will make this even faster and easier. It's a printable template and you'll just cut one of these out lay it on your phone, and it'll show you exactly where to place each of your pieces in order to create this bunny head shape. And you'll find a link to this template right below. And just for fun, totally optional, but we also created a color planner sheet for you as well. So let's talk about what you'll need to make eBunny. First, you'll need a cube shaped foam. This is three by three by two. You're also gonna need three different colors of fabric. Color one will be for the bunny himself. These are four inch squares and you need two of them. Color two will be the surrounding pieces that actually form the shape of his face. I'm gonna be using blue. You'll need six three by three inch squares, four two by three inch rectangles, and then two long strips. These are one and a half inches by about 12 and a half inches long. And then finally color three, I'll be using pink. This will be for the inside of his ears and then also one of the long bands going around the outside of the cube. You'll need four one and a half by two inch rectangles and then one longer band. This is 12 and a half inches long and it's about three inches wide. You'll need a couple of really short strips of narrow ribbon. This is gonna be if you wanna do a little bow tie at the bottom of his face. I'm using strips that are about five inches long and one of mine is a quarter inch wide and the other is about three eighths inch wide. If you want, you can use a piece of trim going around the outside of your cube. And if you wanna do this, this is about 12 and a half inches long and it can be any width that you like. And for the rest of his embellishments, I've got some crystal beads, some pearl beads, and some eyeballs, and that looks creepy. I've also got some glue dots for sticking on his eyes, but you could just use regular clear glue as well. And totally optional, but if you wanna do a bow on top, you'll need some extra narrow ribbon for that as well. And last but not least, you'll need a pair of scissors. And don't forget to grab your printable template down below. You will definitely need this to make eBunny. All right, guys, I think we're set. Let's go ahead and start. Whoops, I forgot pins. 80 to 100 straight pins. I always forget something. All right, we're gonna begin by pinning fabric one down onto one side of the cube. If you've got a pattern on this, then you'll want this to be facing up. And we're just gonna pin it all around the edges to make sure it's held down nice and taut. All right, and then for the corners here, we're just gonna take them and fold them in to one side and then pin, just laying them as flat as possible against the foam. All right, that's it for the base square. So go ahead and cut out one of those little bunny face templates, and we're gonna lay this right on the top of the cube over the fabric square that we just pinned on, and we're gonna sit it so that its edges are sitting flush against the edges of the actual cube. And you're gonna go ahead and take a couple of pins. These are just temporary pins, so you don't have to stick them in all the way, but two or three pins to hold him in place. We're gonna be placing some fabric around the template to create the shape, and then we'll be removing this. So we'll start with one of those three inch squares of fabric too. We're gonna to hold this with the pattern side facing away and then fold it in half once and then again the other direction in half and then just lightly finger press that crease and unfold and where that crease is that's showing you where the center is we're actually going to pin about a quarter of an inch left of that crease so your pin is more towards the left than it is to the right now flip this over so your bunny is upside down and we're going to start here at the top right here between his ears and we're going to pin this right down there in between not through the paper template but just outside of it pressing it flat down. Now we're gonna create the prism fold. The prism fold is a narrow triangle that you create by folding the left side down on, and on a slight angle towards the bottom right, and then the right side down and on an angle towards the bottom left. We've now got a narrow triangle. Now you'll notice that your edges may not fill the space here in between of the paper template ears, but that's totally okay. We're just making sure that it's centered in between of those ears as much as possible. 
and then smoothing it down over the edge of the cube. We're just gonna take two or three pins here and pin it down flat. We're pinning on the side of the cube, not the face of the cube, like that. So that's the first piece. We're now gonna move to this left side. You'll need another three inch square of fabric too. And again, we're gonna fold it in half, pattern side facing away, and then find the center of this edge by folding it in half again. This time though, we're gonna go ahead and pin right in the middle, right where that crease is. And we're gonna start over here on the left. So if you're looking at them straight up and down like this, we're gonna start right here on the left at this next little star. We put a star on the template wherever we're gonna be pinning. But remember, we're always gonna be pinning just outside of the template. So I'm gonna pin this right there in that crease just outside the paper template. Now this time we're gonna be doing an angled triangle fold. So we're gonna angle down the left side. Just take this and tilt it down so that it aligns with the left side of this ear. If you're looking at it like this, it's the left side of that ear. You're gonna make sure that that folded edge sits just outside of that template. And I'm gonna go ahead and take another pin, and again, pinning on the side of the cube, pinning that to hold it in place. And then we'll take the right side of this, and we're gonna fold it straight down. It's gonna actually line up with those little stars on the template and we'll have a line going straight down the center, and I'm gonna go ahead and pin down here to hold it, again, on the side of the cube. Now you may notice here on the right side that your fabric edge actually overlaps the template a little bit. That's okay. We're not pinning through it, so it's all right. We're gonna pin over here on the right, on the edge of the cube, like before. Now if you've got some bumpiness here, you can always add another couple of pins along this edge to hold it nice and flat. Let's repeat the same thing, but opposite over here on the right. So I'm pinning right here at the opposite side, just outside the template. This time I'm gonna angle the right side down and I want to align it with the edge of that template. And then again, pinning over here to hold it. And now this left side, I'm gonna pin or fold straight down. Its line, again, is gonna line up right with those stars and then in turn with the line on the opposite piece. And just smooth down the left side as much as possible and pin over here as well. And if you need to, just like before, you can add an extra pin or two along the edge to hold everything nice and smooth. All right, so we only need to add two more pieces of fabric to finish the basic outline of his face. And we're gonna switch to the two inch by three inch rectangles of fabric too. And holding it with the pattern side facing away from you, we're gonna fold it in half lengthwise, top to bottom, finger pressing the top. And we'll start on the left here, and we're just gonna lay this right over the corner and then fold it down over the edges of the cube. And we're aligning the folded edge with the edge of the paper template. So we'll start down here at the bottom and pin it to hold it, and then just bring it right up to the other side and pin it as well, like this. So you're gonna have a little bit of buckling right here in the corner. We're just gonna take this and pinch it and fold it to this one side, it doesn't matter which side, just like we did when we were um, pinning down the base layer like this. And if you need to give it a couple of extra pins, just like always, you absolutely can. Like that. Let's repeat that over here. If you're having a hard time pinching this together, you can actually take a pin at the edge there. That might help you hold it down so that you can do your little fold over and then pin right on top of it, like this. Feel free to use as many pins as you need to to get things held down nice and tight. And there we have his head shape. All we need to do now is fill in the little pink centers of his ears, and it's time to remove the template. So we're all done with this guy. We're gonna unpin him and just Take them on off, and then we're switching to those little mini rectangles 
of fabric three. Flip this over so the pattern side is facing away from you, and we're gonna fold the two short ends together. We're folding it in half, the two short sides together, and grab a pin, and we're gonna pin all the way to the right side, right below the top folded edge, and as close to that raw right edge as you can possibly get without going off the edge. And we'll start on the left side here, the left ear. I'm gonna flip this over, and see how we had that angled triangle fold that's here on the side? I'm actually just gonna look at the line formed from the long side of that triangle and follow it up right to the middle, and I'm just eyeballing this, but to the middle of this ear space, and that's where I wanna take this pin and stick it. So following this line right up to that middle area, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stick this right into that section. Now what we're looking to do here is create a super narrow triangle to fill the center of that ear space. So we're gonna take this top part around, along the folded edge and fold it down just a small amount. You're basically gonna come down maybe not quite halfway across the rest of the fabric. So just folding it down like this and creating that narrow little sliver here. Then take this whole thing again and fold it over itself until you're covering the raw edges at the right. Okay, so we're gonna have this little narrow triangle and now you don't have any raw edges showing. And let's just flip this up so that it's aiming right towards the corner of the cube. And the raw edges should reach to the edges of the cube. And we're gonna go ahead and take a pin and pin at one side over the edge of the cube, again, not on the front, and then pin the other side. And then again, if you've got this little bulkiness here, just take it and fold it to one side or the other and pin it to hold it like this. Now we are gonna be putting bands all the way to the very edges of the cube. So don't worry about getting really close to the edge of the cube here because we will be able to cover it with our band. As long as there's no pins on the face, then we're good to go. Let's go ahead and repeat this on the opposite side. We're just gonna do everything directly opposite. So I'm gonna fold it again in half, short sides together, but this time I'm gonna pin to the left. We're doing the right ear, we're gonna pin all the way to the left, right below the folded edge and all the way against that left edge, raw edge. So again, we're gonna follow that angled triangle fold, the long side of it, straight up into the center of that ear space following it right on up, just eyeballing where the center is and pressing it flat down. And now we're gonna take this top folded edge along the long side here and fold it down just a small amount, not quite halfway across the entire piece of fabric, creating a sliver and then folding it again over itself, covering the raw edges. and then we'll pin along the outer edges to hold it down. I always have a harder time with this right side than I do on the left, not sure why. I feel like these little pink pieces are the hardest pieces out of the whole thing. The rest of it was super quick and easy and these are a little trickier, they're just a little fussier. That's the ears and guess what? We're done this side, other than embellishing, we are done this side of the cube. Now we'll just flip this over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And of course it goes without saying, when you go to lay your template on top of side two, be sure that it's facing in the same direction as your side one bunny face. Don't even ask me how I figured that one out. All right, that's it for side two. It takes like five minutes once you get this down. So now we're gonna go ahead and do those bands going around the outside. And we actually need three bands because this is a pretty wide area and we do wanna take those edges all the way to the sides. So we're gonna start with the widest band in fabric three. And I'm gonna fold this into thirds, folding in one side about two thirds of the way, maybe a little bit less, and then the other side, the same amount. And when you're done, you should have a strip that's about an inch in width. And you'll have a raw edge running down one side and no raw edges on the opposite side. And we're gonna take this and start right at the top center, so right between his ears, laying it with that uh, raw edge side faced down. And we're laying this lengthwise along the edge of the cube. And I'm gonna go ahead and use a couple of pins here to hold it at its starting point, And then just continue that fold and wrap it around the center of the cube going all the way around. 
I'm pulling this pretty taut because I don't want it to look really poofy or pillowy from the front when I'm looking at it. And then when you reach your starting point, we're gonna take another couple of pins here to hold it in place. Now, if you're gonna be putting a bow on the top of yours, like what I did here on this one, then you can pin it just like this and lop off the edges. If you do not plan to put a bow on the top, hold off. Don't cut anything just yet because you're gonna to wanna to do what I'm about to show you for the two outer bands instead. For me, I'm gonna be using a bow up here. So I'm gonna lop off the excess. And now we're gonna to switch to our remaining two pieces of fabric. Well, one of them for now, those thinner bands in fabric too. We're gonna to create another band just exactly like the first, except for it's gonna be more narrow because we're starting with a more narrow piece of fabric. Folding it into thirds with a raw edge running down one side and then flip it over and there's no raw edges on the opposite side. And I'm gonna lay this so that one edge of it just barely overlaps the first band and the other edge of it sits right up against the edge of the cube. And I am beginning this just where I began my first band. I'm gonna use a couple of pins, get one with a point, and then bring this all the way around just like we did before. So because this band is sitting right at the edge of my cube, I know that even with a bow on top, you're gonna to be able to see parts of this edge right here. And I don't wanna have a raw edge. So what I'm gonna do is a little hidden pin trick that we do on our bands sometimes. First of all, I'm gonna hold this band in place with a couple of temporary pins. I'm just sticking a couple of pins right there to hold it down so I don't lose what I just did. Now with this end, I'm gonna fold it under itself but I wanna make sure I don't have too much. So anything that's past about a half of an inch past my starting point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off. It's not much. But then I'm gonna take the end and just fold it under itself and then lay it flat down on top of the starting point where those first initial pins are. And you'll see we've got little folds here on the corners. I'm gonna take a pin under each one of those. I'm just nudging my pin up under there, right inside that fold and pushing it down. You'll see that you start to get a little bit of a buckle there, but that's okay. We're just gonna untuck it so the pin is hidden. And we'll do the same exact thing over here on the other side. Nudging my pin right up in there, kind of angling it in like that, pushing it straight down. And then if anything gets buckled, we'll just straighten it out. And so now we have no raw edges showing on that band. I'll go ahead and remove these two temporary pins. And now let's repeat that for one final band on this other side. All right, that's it for the bands. So I'm gonna just add a couple of beads, just pinning them on. We'll start with a couple of crystal beads here at the bottom point of each of these ear pieces. And that's gonna help to hide that last tiny little bit of raw edge that you may be seeing there at that corner. And we'll add a couple of pearl beads for his nose. Three little pearl beads in the center for his nose. And then we'll stick on his eyes. I'm just gonna be using little glue dots for his eyes. So let me go ahead and get my glue dots stuck onto the back of my eyeball. And then press that right down where you want it to be. And with these glue dots, you do need to press for a couple of seconds. Just don't press too hard. I did that the other day and I pressed so hard that I flipped it concave. Concave? Convex? I don't know. Whichever one it is. Definitely wasn't the way that an eyeball was supposed to be. <laughs> Whoa, his eyes are independent of each other. <laughs> All right, there's his eyeballs. And now we're just gonna do the little bow tie in the bottom center. So first, I'm just getting a beaded pin ready. We're gonna need this for the second layer of the little mini bow tie. 
And whichever bow you want to be on the bottom, you're gonna start with that one, and take one end and overlap the other end, forming a loop. And then we'll pin right through where the two ends overlap each other. And then take that pin and let it go all the way through, up, up through the top of the loop as well. And you'll have a little mini bow. If you need to do any trimming on the ends, you can. And then we're gonna pin this right to the bottom of his face. Almost at the edge, but not quite. You can kind of fluff it up once you have it in place. And let's repeat that now with the second little mini piece of ribbon. This time though, you're gonna use your beaded pen to hold it in place. All right, well, that's completely adorable. And of course, you'll go ahead and flip this over and embellish the back as well. And if you wanna do a bow on top, you can go ahead and add that. We do have other videos showing how to do bows and hangers for our different ornaments. So I hope you totally love this. I would love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below, or if you've got any questions, you can put those down below as well, and we will help you out the best that we can. Thanks so much for watching. Happy ornamenting.